to do a local transformation, set your base at any point, the highest place in the area, or away from the, the trees. So then you just come here to the device for communication. Then you connect the base first, which is 30 connect. Then you go to PES, then you go to, to startup mode, select single point, then once you select single point, just save, save and apply. Then you go to communication, then you stop the Bluetooth connection between the, the base and the data collector. Then you connect the rover, which is 512, you connect. Once it's connected, it will be in a fixed mode. Eh? But remember that uh, the place that where we have set the base, it's a temporary point and you don't have, it's just a temporary point. So it has errors. So to eliminate these errors, we need to go and localize the, the rover. We localize the rover, meaning that uh, we want to correct the, the transmission of the base using the the rover okay so we'll go to our our control point eh? with the rover we we'll go to our control point with the rover so you go to the list if you have saved the points eh? the machine eh? so go back then go to the tools eh? then go to localization then add, eh? add, then from this uh, the list non-coordinate, you, you input the non-coordinate first. Eh? The non-coordinate is the, is the coordinate for the control point, the non-point, maybe your beacon or your benchmark, okay? So we are there with the rover, you are at that point with the rover. So you go to the list. Then you input your control point two. Maybe that is mine, eh? it's control point two, and I have the coordinates and the elevation. Then you just say okay. Then you see on this uh, in this screen, eh? we have non-coordinates, then we have geodetic coordinates. So you change the coordinate type, eh? the second one. You change here you put the you mark the local coordinate so this local coordinate is for the is for the rover okay it's for the rover the local coordinate is for for the rover and the non coordinate it's for the control point that we are we are now standing our rover. so you click the location point eh? this location icon make sure the bubble is at the center okay then you click it once you have clicked that point eh, the rtk will collect will collect that uh, that position maybe you can say uh, ctr2 prime ctr2 prime because we will not be using it eh? it is just for the purpose of transformation so then you say okay then you go down there 
options eh? then you mark the you mark this use horizontal control then use vertical control then you say okay once you say okay it will take you to this other the next screen eh? you click on that uh, that that coordinate you highlight this coordinate eh? the ctr2 you highlight it eh? then once you highlight then you press this calculate calculate then you just say okay so once you calculate it will show you down here the the local offsets eh? and the change in x and y and z okay so these are our look you, you see this down here this is our change in x and y and z so once you're through with that then you just apply okay so once you apply you can come and check if your control point is okay so you go back to survey then you go to point stack out then you can stack out your control point too and you say okay it should be zero, 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 zero. that is how local transformation works this local transformation mostly it is used at the point eh? uh, it is at the maybe on the fence on the corner fence and you are unable to set your base there or maybe it's in an accessible place that you can't set your base there or it is a maybe in a canopy where the transmission will be poor so we tend to set our base at a temporary point eh? then we correct the position of the base using the the control point okay so if you have any question concerning the local transformation because it sometimes it's challenging they don't hesitate to to let me know okay so next time i'll show you how to set the set the the rover using the coast network coast network okay